G'day, I'm Jamie Roberts, back with another episode of Gold Rushes of Australia. In the early 1850s, when the gold rushes in Victoria and New South Wales were in full swing, the area we now know as Queensland was still not considered a colony or territory in its own right. It was still considered to be part of the New South Wales colony. Like New South Wales and Tasmania, the Queensland region was initially settled by Europeans in the 1820s when a convict station was built at Moreton Bay. Squatters eager for land moved further and further out and by the time news came of the gold rushes in the southern states, you can bet every shepherd and their bosses were double checking every creek and pile of rocks and hoping to find their own patch of gold. The first glimmers of gold for Queensland happened in 1858 in a little place called Canoona near Rockhampton. The news of this gold discovery spread like wildfire and thousands of diggers from across Australia and even overseas made their way to the new gold field. The gold rush of Canoona, though short-lived, marked the beginning of the relationship between gold and Queensland. After the initial excitement though, unfortunately it turned to disappointment as the alluvial gold of Canoona quickly ran out, leaving lots of diggers disillusioned and some destitute. This Canoona gold adventure marked the start of more discoveries to come. A few years later, in 1867, it was the town of Gympie that would find itself in the heart of Queensland's next big gold rush. James Nash, a gold prospector with a keen eye, discovered gold there, changing the town forever. The Gympie gold rush was not only significant for the wealth it created, but it also saved Queensland from financial ruin. At the time, the young Queensland colony was on the brink of bankruptcy and the wealth generated in Gympie helped stabilise the economy. Gympie became known as the town that saved Queensland, a testament to the pivotal role it played in this sticky situation. Further north, it was Charters Towers that would become the next epicentre of gold discovery in the 1870s. The gold discovery in this region would kick off a gold rush that would last for decades. Known as the world, Charters Towers would become one of Queensland's richest gold towns, producing a massive amount of wealth. In the late 19th century, Mount Morgan became the next prominent gold discovery site in Queensland. The Mount Morgan gold mine kicked off in 1882 and became one of the most productive gold mines in Queensland's history, producing not only the yellow stuff, but silver and copper as well. The wealth generated out of the Mount Morgan gold mine funded lots of infrastructure and development projects, leaving a lasting legacy. So our Queensland friends didn't miss out. Queensland's still a popular destination for prospectors who go for the, the weather, the outback, and the chance of scoring a nugget or two. I'm Jamie Roberts, and thanks for watching Gold Rushes of Australia on the Mine Lab Show. Music